Okay, so here's a lesson on Zern. Um, some of you are still on lesson 16. If you are already past lesson 16, you can skip watching this, but I wanted to make sure I was going over a little bit of this. Um, so parents, in case you're watching, it's really important that you are watching the videos and not skipping through those Zern videos. And another thing that might really help you is if you're taking notes or drawing some of the things that they're doing online, because if you just sit and watch um, passively, then you're not really going to understand some of the things they're doing. So anyway, um, they're asking us to plot five-fourths plus two-fourths. And don't forget, you can always ask them to read the directions to you. Five-fourths plus two-fourths. In a computer robot voice. Plot a point at five-fourths. So if I start at zero and I count five fourths, so I'll go one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. Remember, four fourths is equal to one whole. And then here's five fourths. That's all they want me to do first. The directions at the top can throw you off sometimes. Don't solve it yet. Just do each one step at a time. So I'm going to push enter. Ooh, excellent. Now they're going to have me do the next step. Count up to add two-fourths. So one, two-fourths. Enter. You got it. And now they want us to show the sum of five-fourths plus two-fourths. Um, make sure that you are trying to finish these lessons because as we go further in Zern, um, the lessons do get more difficult, and this is a good foundation to make sure you understand what they're talking about here. Um, the next part they're going to be talking about is, hey, when we take 7 fourths and make it into a mixed number, we have to pull out 4 fourths. Remember, 4 fourths equals 1 whole, so I'm just going to put a 1 there. And then I think in my head, okay, 7 fourths minus 4 fourths, that's that one that I took out. Now 7 minus 4 is 3, and then I put the 4 underneath. So I'm going to push enter there and keep climbing. So that's a little bit for this um, particular Zern lesson, lesson 16. It does get more and more difficult, but right now they do have the denominators the same. So that's kind of a nice place to practice and review. So if you haven't passed this lesson yet, you need to try hard to try to pass this lesson. And um, you can, oh, look at that. I got one wrong. Whoops, I added wrong. You guys probably saw that, huh? I hate it when I have to try again. See, even I have to try again. All right, so I'm going to keep thinking maybe I got a little distracted. Um, Yay, I zern. So hopefully you can zern too and keep moving along. Bye.